Quantum Break is a game with many moving parts. Sometimes it is hard to keep track of everything packed into it. Some things even get missed entirely if the player isn't actively looking for it. One of those things are the effects of the Quantum Ripples. Anyone who has played the game has likely come across these at some point. Locating the whiteboard in the Riverport lab and letting Will correct the equation pops up a notification on screen that a quantum ripple occurred. Later, during the first episode of the show, some techs at Monarch mentioned that the equation was solved. This is common knowledge. However, what if I told you that solving this equation also caused a power outage in the town of Ordinary Maine? After engaging each ripple, if you go into the collectible screen of the pause menu, you can open up a report that details everything that changed as a result of Jack's actions. It will also introduce two new characters, Dr. Morphin and Dr. Ranger. These two work for Monarch in the Quantum Ripple Causality Research Subdivision. Their purpose is to locate quantum ripples and track their effects through time. Before diving into each of their reports, let's discuss the nature of these ripples and causality. In a previous video in this series, we discussed chaos theory. This theory deals with the mathematics of complex systems and how small actions can lead to unpredictable outcomes. The principle of causality is the relationship between cause and effect. That every set of events is as a result of what came before. The effects can be apparent, like jumping into a pool will have the causal effect of getting wet. But others can be unexpected, like going out for lunch can lead to a random person getting fired. Based upon this premise, it is plain to see how chaos theory relates to causality. The mathematics of how our actions affect the world are so complex, it would take a company like Monarch, who literally can look through time, to have a chance of getting an idea. In the language of this research department, quantum ripples are the instigating event that branches out into incalculable effects. Otherwise known as pebbles, there are eight of these throughout the course of the game. These pebbles, when dropped into the sea of fourth dimensional space, cause ripples through time that we can examine. Let's take a look and break them all down. Ripple 1, the equation. Nature of pebble, core stability equation solved in the Riverport University Project Promenade Lab. The obvious effects include the university core being stabilized. As a result of the problem being solved, a lab assistant named Weinz left work early. He discovered his wife in bed with the mailman and kills them both. Later he was arrested. Drastic things can change by something as simple as working late or leaving work early. As a result of the event, a lab supervisor was contacted while driving. This led to a fatal car crash. For unknown reasons, a power outage occurred in Ordinary Maine and led to an increase in violent crime. Any information regarding Ordinary and the effects of this equation had on it are not given. The assumption is that it is related to having the core stabilized and time machine primed. Any theories are welcomed in the comments. The final ripple from this pebble involves a number sequence that arose after the equation was fixed. 0, 1, 1, 2, 2. A man named Ben Jones won the lottery using these numbers. For those who went with a PR route during the first junction, you may be unaware of this number. Nick Marsters used a bit of his conspiracy theory mindset and dates important to Monarch to discover them. This is all connected. Some kind of message. Think, Nick, think. Zero, one, one, two, two. Zero, one, one, two, two. Whether they actually have meaning or someone believes they do and therefore made it so is never explained. However, Dr. Morphin and Ranger question if Ben Jones is an alias and whether or not he is a time traveler. No further information on this is given. Ripple 2, Ram Statue. Nature of Pebble, Ram's statuette is transported back to Monarch HQ. Monarch employees begin a trend of posting selfies with it on social media. As a result, the state of Utah initiates legal proceedings against Monarch. While not specified in these documents, it is implied that the statue is a trophy Jack and Paul stole while in Utah years back. You always did drag me into these situations. Me, drag you. One word, Utah. Haha, <laughs> alright, touche. Wherever the statue is taken from is apparently important enough to have the state file a lawsuit to recover their property. On top of this bit, two Monarch employees killed each other while trying to steal the statue. While it could be simple greed, I have heard fan theories that the Ram statue has altered status. On top of this, the statue appears to be related to FBI agent Alex Casey and Saga Anderson's investigation into the missing Alan Wake. 
During the return trailer, this statue is in the background. Another data point is that Sam Lake himself did an interview with the ramp statue at some point. There are too many links for this to be a simple desk ornament. The entire Quantum Ripple is easy enough to link together, except for one thing. How a spike in the dairy product commodities market could have occurred as a result of the statue is completely unknown. While there is no apparent link, there must be a connection somewhere. Ripple 3, Gala Invitation. Nature of Pebble, Jack knocks senior broker Haskins' Gala Invitation into the trash can. Two ripples from this pebble are easy enough to understand. As a result of the invitation never being delivered, Haskins shows up to the party late. His wife is furious. This is the last straw that led to their divorce. Later, the missing invitation was sold on eBay by Blanche McDougal. This is a pseudonym used by Nick Marsters. Since he was in the area, it is likely Nick found this in the trash can and decided to make some money off it. The difficult ripple involves monarch butterflies dropping dead all over the country. No matter how long I look at this, I can't figure out how the pebble created this ripple. Ripple 4, T-Rex Football Cutout. Nature of Pebble. Cutout for the Riverport Rexes appears out of nowhere in 2010. This one is fairly straightforward since we see the moment of the pebble and how the ripple expresses itself in-game. At the Ground Zero site in 2016, Jack interacts with one cutout and it vanishes. Due to the unstable nature of the location, it shifts back in time to 2010 and later appears on Gull Island. Dr. Morphin and Ranger believe it showed up on the island due to a university fraternity prank. The interesting point here is that Riverport did not adopt the T-Rex as its mascot until 2011. The appearance of this ripple is what caused the object to be made in the first place, creating a closed loop, no beginning or end. The research team questions if this constitutes a paradox. After all, who designed this cutout in the first place? Ripple 5, Gala Speech. Nature of Pebble. Jack releases the live feed of the Monarch Gala Speech online. One of the ripples that came from this event is another that is directly tied into the greater lore of the Remedyverse. First, let's get the immediate ripples out of the way. The director of Monarch had been recovering from a surgery at the hospital. After hearing of the leak, the stress caused a massive stroke. Because of the hype surrounding this leak, a cartoon was cancelled so the news could cover it. Most importantly though, as a result of this video being leaked, multiple conspiracy theories began to appear online about Monarch. Some of them included potential links between the company and a secret government agency called the Bureau of Altered World Events. For those unaware, Remedy initially used this name when referring to the FBC. These references go as far back as the This House of Dreams blog in 2012. Some time between the release of Quantum Break and when Control was released, Remedy changed the name to the Federal Bureau of Control instead. Due to the current issues with IP ownership, Quantum Break is not officially part of the Control and Alan Wake universe, so making a definitive connection between Monarch and the FBC cannot be done. However, at this point in time, Remedy intended there to be an alleged link, even if that plot thread has been dropped. At some point in the future, this may be revisited. Ripple 6, Erotic Audiobook. Nature of Pebble. Jack taps into a Monarch PA system and broadcasts an erotic audiobook. This was done to distract the security team who are trying to locate him. Being one of the humorous ripples, not much comes from this that is unexpected. First, the novel itself becomes a bestseller after many of the Monarch guards listen to it all night. Secondly, one of the striker team candidates ends up being distracted while testing out the suit. This leads him to fall off a cliff and drown. Pretty simple to follow the series of events here. Ripple 7, False Leads. Nature of Pebble. An anonymous tip is placed stating that Jack Joyce was seen in the back of a catering van. This was done to create a false trail. As to be expected, catering service employees were arrested all over Riverport. To prove the point of chaos theory, I bet no one predicted that mimes at a local street performer or a clown entertaining at a child's birthday party would also be arrested by Monarch. No clue what could have caused this. Possibly someone from the catering company gave another false lead to the clowns or mimes as a frustrated joke. Ripple 8, Power Outage. Nature of Pebble. Jack flips a switch at a construction zone and causes a power outage. This one is a great example of a realistic quantum ripple we can come across in real life. As a result of the power outage, one of the electricians on site gets pissed and quits his job. Paul Palmer ends up going into politics instead. Two years later, District Attorney Billings, who is the political rival of Palmer, dies in a freak accident as a result of faulty wiring. 
The most logical reason for this is that since Palmer no longer worked as an electrician, the specific job he would have been on was done by a different technician. This other individual made a mistake which led to the faulty wiring. Four years later in 2016, Palmer runs for mayor. The little things like quitting your job are a huge pebble in the course of our lives. We can work in one position for 20 years, or quit and move on to another that leads us to moving to a new town, meeting new people, and having a completely different life. Every choice we make has the potential to radically alter the outcomes of our lives. Our destiny is the result of every one of our choices leading to the logical conclusion. But, due to chaos theory, the long-term results of our personal pebbles are impossible to predict. Being conscious and thinking through our decisions, however, can allow us to do our best at predicting the immediate effects. As stated in the previous video on this topic, the further away from the time the pebble was cast we go, the more unpredictable the effects will be. The Quantum Ripple Causality Research Subdivision attempts to make sense of the relationship between cause and effect over long periods of time. In game, these eight reports are all we are aware of. However, there are likely hundreds of these that occur as a result of any little change made by anyone. Life is made up of an infinite number of choices made by every conscious being in existence. As shown in the previous examples, some things that happen are out of our control. When Jack leaked the Gala speech, do you think he expected to cause someone to have a stroke? Do you think it is fair that a district attorney died simply because Jack wanted to see what this button did and flipped a switch? Every day we feel a ripple that was cast by another person's pebble. Conversely, others feel the ripple for the pebbles we ourselves cast. In a poetic sense, it doesn't serve much of a purpose in being angry with an unwanted ripple that passes over us. It is more productive to either ride the wave, or simply drop a new pebble that redirects the unwanted one. This way, we stand our best chance of ending up at a destiny that we desire. But of course, due to chaos theory, there are no guarantees. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, please drop a like and subscribe to receive updates on future uploads. If you would like to help support the channel, a Patreon has been set up and the link is in the description below. Have a great day and peace be with you all.